Hey guys, it's Kevin Crowder from Pursuit, and in this video, I wanna share with you one killer exercise you're probably not doing for your rear deltoid. And the reason why you're probably not doing this for your deltoid is that years ago, doing a behind the neck pull down was considered like bad for your shoulders, taboo. Don't do it, avoid it at all costs. And also like presses behind your neck too which it can be. It can lead to acute stress and wear and tear in your shoulder and your rotator cuff, no doubt. But the thing is, people aren't doing it properly. And the number one mistake people are doing when they do behind the neck lap pull down is that they go too far down, the range of motion is too long. And it's down when you're actually contracting the rear deltoids and the upper back, obviously. But in this case, you are isolating the rear deltoids a little bit better by shortening the range of motion. And when I mean shorten the range of motion, you're not gonna bring the bar all the way down to your upper back. You're gonna bring the bar at the most down to the top of your ear level. And why are you doing that? It's so you don't go past that range of motion that's kind of the danger zone where you're gonna start becoming a little bit, it's gonna feel it in the shoulder, a little achy. And don't forget guys, this exercise is not made to be done over and over again. It's only made to be done at the most once a week or just a change from your normal rear delt exercises that you're doing. And I would recommend doing this on your days that you do your back exercises as well, because when you do back exercises, you're hitting your rear deltoids unintentionally anyway, it's just gonna happen. And this just finishes it off nice, and you're gonna do a lat exercise and a back exercise at the same time, building up those rear deltoids. Now, the next tip that I wanna recommend for you is to squeeze and pause at the bottom of the range of motion and the bar reaches your ear level and squeeze and really get that mind muscle connection feel the rear deltoid squeezing i learned this exercise a long time ago and that was the mistake that i made there's three tips the third tip is to flip around on the lat pull down so you get the range of motion coming down in the rear deltoid line. So you can see the line of the lat pull down, the bar coming down in a good line. It's not going too much forward or backwards. So you can actually pull your elbows back properly and feel the rear deltoids working. Now look guys, this is an exercise that I don't use very often, like I said before, but it's a nice change and you can actually feel the rear deltoids Feel the blood and you can feel the contraction a lot better when you start doing it this way instead of the other way, which can be very ballistic and harmful to your shoulder. So what I recommend you doing is using this towards the end of the workout, not in the beginning, and do this until you actually start to feel the exercise. Start off a little light. Whatever you can do with the lap pull down, start off with half the weight that you can normally do for a lap pull down. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys next week.